What up, YouTube? It's your boy Soup, and I'm back with another video. Sad, sad day for your boy. I can't catch a break. I can't catch a break. Y'all know a little while ago I had a little fender bender with scarlet. If some of you don't know, that is that is my um, my Dodge Charger. We hit a deer. So I ain't been I ain't been driving there, you know. And besides, you know, you got snow outside. I don't know if some of y'all can see that. You got snow out there. So she was kind of put up after that, you know. And besides, you got to go to the shop soon, get fixed. So Saturday night come around. Me and my family, we on our way home. Daughter had some basketball games. We up there, you know, we driving, we cooling. My wife and I, we talking. I look over towards her, then look back. And, as, and before I can even make any kind of reaction or have any kind of reaction to what my eyes had seen, a big, dumb, a big, stupid buck came across the road, you know, from my left, came across and ran right into the front of the car. You know, I kind of swerved to the right just a little bit because I didn't want to hit it head on because I didn't want the airbags to come out. You know, and you get all that, you know, all that stuff in your eyes that the airbags normally shoot out. And, you know, I ain't want my wife to really, you know, take an impact from that because my wife, my wife likes to sit with her feet on the dash, oh, I hate that so much. But it is what it is, she like to be comfortable. So I just, you know, took one and just said, all right, I'm gonna hit it with the left part of my car. So I did. So now I'm heading up to the shop to get an estimate, you know, for my insurance. They gonna let me know if it's total. I don't think it's total, because it's still, like right now, I'm in it right now, as you guys can see. Um, they gonna let me know what the estimate is and make sure ain't nothing bent and stuff and see how much the parts are and I guess your boy gonna be without a, a vehicle because can't drive a white car you know because I was going to the shop soon and, and besides I wouldn't be driving it because that car just won't make it very far because it doesn't do well on cold pavement nor snow and everybody that owns a sports car they know good and well them cars ain't made for no snow so man down now I'm trying to see about getting another whip because now I got to have a vehicle to drive because now we're down to one vehicle. So I turn this camera back on once I get there, show you guys the damage, let you see what the buck did to my car. And maybe I'll let y'all hear the rest of what's going on. I don't know. But when, like I said, when I get there, I'll show y'all the damage. I'm back. All right, I'm gonna show y'all the damage. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Got this whole fender right here. That's deed. It probably gonna need a new door. I don't know. Because when you try to open the door, it hits this. So push that in. This whole panel messed up. I'm gonna tell them I need a new tire because once I, once that crashed there, it was rubbing on the tire. I mean, the tire don't look bad, but I ain't trusting it. Cause you got the whole front end. The coolant busted open. I was leaking. I can still see some of the hair there, of course. A little bit of the hair down there. All oh, this is down full. Headlight down full. Fog light. I got the fog light back here. Somewhere in here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Some of the carnage. I ain't gonna be able to use none of that stuff. You know, that's my baby, man. You know, practically still brand new because I don't drive her like that in the summer. Got a new side. Fucked up sad. <laughs> so yeah, all that all this hey man, all this is done for. I got a rough. I got a rough. So I'm gonna walk in here and see what they say. That's the damage to the whip. Sad day. Sad day. Uh, I got so much stuff I wanna do to her too, man. But go see what they say. So y'all some of these cars while I wait, man. These are my old joints on my old Fords. Boy's cold though. Like they got they got another store that got a tons of these joints. The one they used to go to war in. The more had the little two seaters. I'm gonna start with this one down here. This, these cars crazy though. Look at this joint. Look at that back in the day, this is where you was sitting. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I had to physically hop up these stairs, get in the back seat. Put the little luggage back there in the back. 
but let's go on the other side. They got the one on any, got the window down on this one. Got the doors locked on this joint. And it's a stick shift. I don't even know how fast these things go. Probably on like 50 miles an hour. That's crazy though. You know, you gotta have some bread to get one of these nowadays. If you want to buy one like this, it's clean. I bet you that boy going. Don't know how much horsepower this is. 1929 NAS. Never heard of it. They got this joint. This is a four. I know what this is. It's a four for sure. That's a Nash. Never heard of the Nash. Got the step right there. I say Ford on it. Got a little two-seater. I don't see the little key. Don't know what that button over there is. Probably a little key or switch. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure it's probably like another seat. But probably not. Probably just a trunk. Ford. They got this joint right here. This is a... That's a Ford. I want to say, a, I don't know, what y'all think it is? Is that, a, is that a Jaguar or something? I don't know. Cause the knob on this joint, this boy go 90 miles an hour. Crazy. Boy, mental condition. I'm tired. Ford. They got this Ford right here. It's like they just buying these joints and they were just keeping them. They weren't even doing nothing with them. Look at that horn. But that horn is getting shabby. Look at that rearview mirror. You can't see nothing with that little thing. That's crazy. And the one I was waiting to show y'all last. This baby right here. Yes. Huh? Yeah, I know. She she didn't have the key. I did. She didn't have the key. Nah. It was just better for me to have the key because I don't trust her driving that in the ice. You're funny. Sorry, I already messed up. With this right here. Oh no, you hit you hit you hit a deer in this thing, you might always just call it a wrap. Oh yeah. If they wanna sell this to me, I'll buy it. Huh? Uh, I won't I won't tell her. Just show up with it. Ask it, Martin, y'all. All right, guys, I'm done there with the truck. I got to drop that off tomorrow. It's crazy because I'm going to be without my truck for about, he said, about two or three weeks, man. It's crazy. It's like, what the hell am I going to, what am I going to do, you know? And then now I'm, I'm about to go home and go get my car. They're going to give me an estimate on that, you know, which that's going to be, which I already had got an estimate from another place, but I'm like, why not just have both of my cars in the same place or both of my vehicles in the same place? So that's what I'm end up doing. So now I'm gonna take it up there and I'm gonna see what their estimate is gonna be because I already got the estimate from a, from another person. And I'm gonna see if it comes out better. If not, I don't care the insurance paying for it anyway. But you know, you know, when you guys get insurance, make sure y'all pay close attention to that stuff, man. Because if you don't pay attention to the fine stuff of what you need just in case something was to happen to your vehicles. Then you're gonna be SOL, man. And I'm not gonna get into all that, you know, but I just think the, the insurance game is just it's just rigged, man. It's 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 a they thieves, man. I'm just being I'm just being being real, man. I just I don't I understand why you pay so much money, right? And I know I stated this before on the last in my one of my other videos. I don't understand why you pay all this money for for insurance, right? And then something happened to your car, boom, you gotta pay a deductible. Crazy to me, man. Why do I gotta pay y'all more money? You know, that I'd be paying y'all every month. Like, like, especially if I'm if I'm driving, say, three years in a row, right? Didn't have no issues, didn't have no accidents, nothing, right? And then one day, boom, something happened. You have an accident. Oh yeah, you gotta pay a five hundred dollar deductible. And why do I gotta pay five hundred dollar deductible when I done probably paid 
thousands and thousands of dollars within them three years, man, y'all better take that money out of that. You know, that's the way, that's just my way of thinking because I just don't understand how they get away with that. Man, that's, that shit is highway robbery, man. That shit is crazy. You know? I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just fed up, man. I, just, I think it's time to get the hell out of the Midwest. Midwest is crazy. You know, the damn deer be jumping everywhere because the deer be getting hunted, so they be running all over the place. You know, especially if a person shooting at them and they hear gunshots and the person don't hit them, guess where that deer gonna run to? He don't keep running until he can't run no more. Then he, guess where he gonna run? Right into the road. And then guess what? Somebody like me come along and just minding my own business and smack you. Smack the deer. Well, that's a dead deer in the road. Now you can come pick him up. But guess who losing? Me. You know why? Because now I gotta pay a five hundred dollar deductible. On top of that, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the car because my insurance played me by not putting. Oh, he might need a rental if something happened to his car. So guess what? Five hundred dollar deductible on top of rental, rental fees. Out here, I can't be driving around no car. So guess what I need? A truck. So guess what? Guess how much a truck gonna cost me for a week? Just a week. Five hundred dollars. So that's another five hundred dollars for one week. Crazy, huh? You know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm like, I ain't get the hell out of here, man. Need to go somewhere where you ain't gotta worry about deer. I'm sure deer is probably a lot of places, but I'm just, I'm just tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. Insurance of thieves. You know, you pay taxes on shit that you already paid taxes on, like your 401ks, man. Robbery and thievery, all the above. I'm tired of it, man. So I turn, I turn this camera back on. I get back in my, get into the car. Hey, today is Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. All right, I'm gonna leave my change in here to see if anybody take my change out of my thing. I got a gold coin right there. I know you can see it, and that's a dollar. So I'm gonna leave it in here, and I'm gonna see if somebody steal it. And if they do, this is my video proof of that. So I'm about to find out how trustworthy people are. Cause at least maybe five bucks worth of change in there, or more. So I'm saving this video. I'm back, and it is the next day. And so far, they got my car taken apart. You know, from all the damage they see. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. So they took everything apart. Don't look like nothing bent. Just the, the normal damage. I don't know if they had to, to bend this thing in place or not. On the frame structural. Shit crazy. You know, cause that whole panel gone. Feel like somebody put their foot on my car. Who took my handle off my car? Why did they take my handle off? So they must be replacing that whole door. Would be my guess. So, door still unlocked, of course. I hope they lock my shit up when they leave. So I'll be playing that. So, let's see. I left my stuff in the back seat. Yeah, my truck's still a mess, man. When they came up here just to get my sunglasses. They kicked that light out the back. Yeah, it was a light back there. They probably getting rid of all that. So, took the mirror off crazy you know one deer man one deer can mess up your whole day also oh, that mean they getting they getting rid of this whole roof i mean this whole hood so all that's gonna be gone yeah so you know thank god it's not not uh no damage i like my truck they're gonna do what they gotta do get it back together he said three weeks i don't understand why it's gonna take three weeks but we'll see maybe they'll get it out quicker so i'm gonna go ahead and talk to these guys and See, see, uh, see what they say as far as estimate wise. Oh yeah, so they getting. I think they are getting rid of that whole door. So they took that whole thing apart. So you already know that door about to be gone. As long as they put my red, my red and black interior back on there, I'd be happy, boy. Don't play with me. So we'll see. What's the, hold on, what, is, what is this? Oh, okay. That's the lock part. Missed the handle. All right, I got it. Now, you know what's crazy? Because just yesterday, right? When I got a video of it, my dollar, my gold dollar is not in here. See? 
And I already said that I was going to leave it in here to see if anybody stole out my car. So now it's a problem. So now we got a problem. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Like your bell cut.